Hey, y'all. We got a midge with us today. Hi, Midge. How's it going? We're going to make some diagrams together. Many of you probably know at this point that Obsidian has a core plugin called Canvas, which is fairly simple. Let's just go and create one right now. It's just a little mind map space. You can make boxes, boxes, and you can connect them up, make whatever kind of you want. But this is fairly simple. You're limited in what you can do. I love Canvas, but uh, there's another plugin called Excaladraw, which has its own like ecosystem. You can go online and use it, but it's just so perfect to be used in your vault. And what I was showing you earlier, this is something I created for a previous video uh, to talk about the ensemble. And I made this in Excaladraw. It has this nice little like handwritten feel to it. But you have a lot more in terms of options for actually organizing things and coloring things and different box shapes and arrows and all that kind of fun stuff. So Excaladraw is going to become important for a future video, which I won't talk too much about right now, but uh, it's going to be a really important plugin, I think, for most people, uh, especially you visual learners out there. And there's some AI functionality in here that is really cool that I want to show you to really bring it to the next level. So as always, you're going to want to go to your settings, community plugins, browse, and you're just going to search for Excaladraw. It's like the number one plugin here. And look, I have to, I have to update, so I'll update right now. Um, but you'll just want to download it, and then you'll want to come to options. Uh, there's not too much you're going to have to change in here, but you might want to look through, see if there's anything different. For example, do you want your images shared in a particular folder. If you have an inbox, you might want to put there, but they just have an Excaladraw folder, blah, 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 blah. If you want a template, you can have a template there. Saving again, don't worry. I don't think I changed anything in here, but the AI settings is important. So I will blank out my API key, but what I would do is come in here and put in your OpenAI API key. If you don't know how to do that, you just go to the billing section. Just look up OpenAI billing. You'll sign into your account and go to API keys. It's in a bunch of my other videos. You can just Google how to do it. It's not that hard. It's going to start with a different AI model, probably GPT 3.5. You can go with that, but feel free to upgrade it to whatever the latest model is. Similarly, just look up OpenAI models and go to whatever web page comes up first. So I wouldn't worry too much about all this other stuff. It might be a little overwhelming. So don't worry about it right now. Maybe we'll do another video to go through some of these other options. Let's take this image that I have. So first, if you hold down your mouse wheel scroll, you see I have that grab. This will allow me to move around just like in Canvas. And then if you scroll up or down with your mouse, it's gonna go up or down. And then if you hit control and scroll in or out, or I guess command for you Mac users, uh, you'll come in and out. And so that's just an easy way to navigate. And then we have my image here. So all I've done, you can take your image, your different shapes up here and just bring them in. And then when you bring them in, you might want to change the color or whatever. There's this little nice little palette down here. You just click on that and you'll see you have all these options to change the stroke width, the style, how sloppy you want it. So you can also do layering. So let's say I don't want to do this whole thing. Let's create a new shape here. I'll just do another triangle. This is over, but I want it to be under. You can right click and you'll see you have your typical layering options. So I'll send it back. And you'll see here it is now behind. I'll just delete it. We don't really need it in there. Uh, and that's, you know, pretty much it. You can add uh, text in here. You can add images. So if we want to do an image, we can find an image. I'll take some Miss Nura and plop her right in here. And now you'll have Miss Nura looking down on us. Learn more. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All I want to say is that it does automatically save in your vault, but you can hard save by doing Control Command S or hitting save right here. You can change the canvas background and you can export the image. So when you're done, if you hit this, it'll give you some options. But the one thing you want to pay attention to is these down here. 
you're probably going to want to do a PNG. SVG is like vector size. So if you are going to need to blow this thing up to a huge height so it doesn't get pixelated, you're going to do an SVG. Or you can just save it to a clipboard and copy and paste it wherever you want. So that's generally how you use Excalidra. But there's a couple specific, this isn't too different from like Nero or any of those other things. But the one thing I wanted to show you was the AI options. So remember that you do need uh, to have your API key in there. We're going to go to text to diagram to start. And here we're just going to say, let's think of a process such as making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now we'll generate. It's going to take a minute. <laughs> here you go gather ingredients and then made this and all i gotta do is insert and bada bing bada boom what would have taken me probably 10 to 15 minutes to put together is now nicely organized there's no colors but i can just come in i can do the paint and say okay i want this to be green i want this to be red i want to say step two over here but you can just add things in here however you like and that is just a lot faster so obviously like any type of ai thing you're doing it's probably not going to come up with exactly what you're looking for the more detail uh, you give the better thank you as always chatters hope you learned something new and excited to see what kind of diagrams you come up with